Right now, I'm going to tell you the number one place that you never, ever want to hide your valuables in your house. My name, by the way, is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer. Uh, you might recognize me from Shark Tank, the NBC Today Show, or Fox News. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that jazz. But let's get back to business. Please welcome back. Former CIA officer Jason Hansen. Former CIA Jason Hansen. This handsome fella is Jason Hansen. Okay. This is Jason Hansen, former CIA guy. Person asks me, says, hey, I want to hide some valuables in my house. Where should I do it? Well, the number one place that you never, ever want to hide any valuables is in your master bedroom. Because what happens? A criminal does a home invasion, they break into your house, and the first place they go is to your master bedroom. Because they're going through your sock drawer, they're trying to find your jewelry, they're trying to find your coins, your cash. They're going to your closet thinking, hey, they might have a safe in the closet because everybody keeps their safe in their master bedroom closet and all that kind of stuff. So never ever keep any kind of valuable thing in your master bedroom. So where do you want to, where do you want to keep it? Some place that is difficult to get to and takes some effort. For example, let's say you have a uh, storage up above in your in your garage or something, right? Go climb up the ladder in that storage. Then you've got a million boxes, and one of those boxes is marked baby clothes or whatever you want to mark it. And of course, you got to have some baby clothes in there. And at the very bottom of that box is your coins or is five thousand dollars worth of cash for an emergency. There are a million and one places I'm sure you can find in your house where to store it but it has to be difficult to get to because criminals, when they're doing home invasion, they want to be in and out of your house lightning quick. They're not going to crawl up in the attic, start tearing through 27 different boxes and all that. They're going to go to the master bedroom, dump out all your drawers, see what's there. You know, I know people that maybe have installed fake hot water heaters in houses and they have a way to get stuff in there. Um, I know one guy, very, very wealthy guy, obviously I won't name or tell you what he does for a living, but he has one of those gigantic safes right in his house. The safe has a few things in it, some guns, but nothing. It's just a decoy. It is a dummy safe. Right behind it, in his floor, he has an in-ground safe. So if you go behind it, the floor, of course, looks totally normal. You can't see that you can peel it up. But there, he has an in-ground safe that has a tremendous amount of coins. Uh, some very, very valuable rare coins, some cash, and all that kind of stuff. You have to know how to get there. You have to know how to peel it out. You have to know how the code and all that stuff. It's not anything that anybody's going to get into quickly. You'd have to know it's there and you'd have to have a, a lot of skill to be able to pick that, to be able to get into that safe. So look around your house, think of all the places. And if you can get there in 30 seconds or less, not a good idea. It's got to require some effort. It's got to be some pain in the butt. So I have emergency cash in my house. It's for emergencies. You're not supposed to be accessing it every day or whatever. I have some other cash. When my wife runs out of cash, she always gets, but that's not an emergency. That made me just go to the ATM and grabbing a supply to put there. But the emergency cash, you should never be touching. So it shouldn't be a big deal that you have to go crawl somewhere to get it. Also, you may want to not keep all your eggs in one basket. Maybe you want to rent a storage unit and put a fireproof safe in the storage unit. Uh-oh, this is turning on now. So I'll wrap this up and make quick. Maybe you want to put that, that uh, fireproof safe in a storage unit. That way all your cash and valuables are not in one place. So there you go. There you have it. Never ever hide your all your valuables in your master bedroom. Make it difficult to get to. Spread it out. Maybe have someone to storage you in your house. If you want to know about my financial bug out bag and more tips about what I do personally with my cash to make sure I always have cash to protect my family, make sure and check out the link below to grab our financial bug out bag. Have a wonderful rest of the day. I'm former CI officer Jason Hansen. God bless you. God bless your family. Don't forget to like, subscribe because I got more videos headed your way.